we come from different backgrounds. It's not where you come from that will determine who you become in life. It's not your age, it's not your gender. It is your self-determination that will make you who you want to be. If you want to become the next president of this country, it is you through your work. If it's you want to become a doctor, if you want to become an engineer, only you can become that. Let me tell you, those who achieve five or nine distinctions, or all distinctions, they are not made different to you. They are the same like you. Some of them are even coming from worse environment than you. So part of what you have as a duty is to play your part. All of us, government can provide what they want to, teachers can do their part, parents can do their part, but the remainder is up to you. When I did my metric, my family and I were staying in a shack. Or Lao Quell. Our fishers of Mesangelia took our Tonya, or Cassibili Villo, our touch, Litonia, Lesang. When it rains, there's huge noise. You can imagine as a learner having to study under those conditions. With no electricity, I studied Kakeres and did my metric. There is no reason to blame your parents at this age, I can tell you. Your future now is in your hands. Your parents can do, to a certain extent, their role, but major decisions about where your life must go, it's now in your hands. You must always strive to become the best that you can be. There is nothing stopping you to becoming a top achiever in the country. It is out of dedication, it is out of commitment, you put efforts into it. You must be willing to put extra time to say, I want to study, I want to produce the best results. And high study in June, high study in October, it starts today. Focus on your studies. Because if you are going to focus at wrong things, you end up on a one. There are consequences. It will be tough. If you can ask one or two people who had Banabale Babanyani, we most of us can share a story or two. I had my son when I was 17 years old. It was the most difficult time. I can tell you I've tumbled through attempts of committing suicide and a lot of things. I had disorders and all those things because it's not a child's play. It's not something that must happen to children. The responsibility and the emotional burden it's way heavy. So protect yourself, look after yourself, and ensure that you can enjoy being young people. I am here to say to you today, the future is in your hands, the opportunities are there, many opportunities for you to go even to university today without paying a cent, all you have to do is produce good results.